Hey everyone, and welcome to this video series on LaSalle University's resources for online learning and presentation building. My name is Jake Eisman, and today I'll be your guide teaching you how to use My LaSalle. To gain access to your My LaSalle account, you must first sign in with your LaSalle University assigned username and password. By default, your username should be your last name, followed by the first initial of your first name, followed by a number assigned to you by LaSalle's Academic Technology Department. Your password will be your birth date written out in the form shown on screen, followed by a period, followed by the first three letters of your last name. We'll do an example. If we were doing the explorer, first name the, last name explorer, his username would be explorer t, followed by the number assigned to him. And his password, let's use today's date as his birth date, would be 061720, period, exp. Again, that's last name, first initial, number for your username, and birth date, period, first three letters of last name for the password. This is by default, you can change the password, and if you have any issues signing in, please contact the IT department help desk by sending an email to helpdesk at lasalle.edu or by calling 215-951-1860. Once you've gained access to MyLaSalle, you'll be greeted with a large number of tabs, links, and content panels. It'll be very useful if you familiarize yourself with where everything is, but for now I will give you a brief tour of the basic uses of MyLaSalle. This blue bar will be your main navigation through MyLaSalle. It includes sections like Campus Resources, which is used for public safety and parking, students to access grades and different announcements, and a home to keep up on important university announcements and calendars. We will do a brief tour starting with Campus Resources going through each panel to show you a little bit of what they have to offer. Once you've clicked on the Campus Resources tab, you'll be brought to this screen. On the right, there's a panel dedicated to student organizations. Most of the features on here are for those that run student orgs or clubs, but there is a nice database that can be used to find new clubs and ways to get involved on campus. Below this is the Information Technology panel. You can use this to submit requests to the IT department when something isn't working correctly on campus. The bottom half can be used to gain access to several valuable pieces of software that LaSalle students use on a daily basis, but we will return to this later in the video. Below this, you'll find the Campus Dining Panel, which can be used to gain access to the Campus Dining Portal and view your meal plan, as well as view the menus, locations, and hours of places on campus that are open for dining. Finally, rounding out the column is the Shopping and Discounts Panel. You can use this to access the online LaSalle bookstore where you can check on your rentals as well as buy several different types of items and merchandise. This also shows you ways that you can get deals online and offline using your LaSalle ID. Scrolling up and going to the middle column, you'll see a panel called Event Planning. This is mostly reserved for student organizations who are hoping to plan events. However, it also has a calendar of upcoming events that you might like to attend. Beneath this is the Safety and Parking panel. This is by far the most important panel on all of my LaSalle so I'll break down each link individually, showing you what you can do with them. This break panel will be updated periodically to show you when you have to be off campus for a break and what you should do if you're staying on campus. The emergency alert system will let you gain access to the Explorer Alert, a system that LaSalle uses to alert its students of on-campus and surrounding campus crime so that students know when to stay inside and stay safe. The Rave Guardian app is an app available to all LaSalle students that allows them to call 911, send in tips to public safety, as well as update their profile and location so that public safety can keep tabs on them if they get into an emergency situation. Getting around will allow you to access the campus map as well as the shuttle schedule so that you can plan your trips on and off campus safely and quickly. Safety tips will be updated periodically with helpful tips and ways to stay safe on campus. Public safety will allow you to file an incident report and or access the public safety records for your own personal information. Rounding out the public safety panel is the parking tab. Using this, you'll be able to view your parking pass or pay for your next one, as well as view any unpaid parking tickets or appeal any parking violations. Be sure to check on this if you plan on parking on campus before and after receiving your parking pass. Below this is Health and Wellness, which covers everything students need to stay safe, healthy, fit, and active on campus. This covers everything from the gym hours, club and intramural sports, smoke for your LaSalle, traveling tips, as well as the very important section dedicated to sexual misconduct and Title IX claims. Scrolling up and going to the left column, you'll see a panel dedicated to the Connolly Library. You can use this to gain access to the library homepage, which you can use to navigate, or several quick links that take you to several parts of the library website with different information on them. You can also use the quick summon search bar to gain access to books and documents you might need access to for your LaSalle projects. 
Beneath this is the UMass page. You can use this to access UMass's website for those students that want to maintain their faith and get actively involved in the faith community at LaSalle. Beneath this is Athletic and Recreations. While this is mainly used for student athletes, there are also tabs for intramurals as well as Explorer Fitness, so be sure to check these out in your spare time. Finally, rounding out this column is the Career Center. Now, the Career Center has a very, very in-depth website. However, you can access many of their links here through the links that are optioned here, such as Handshake and Work Study and Budget Information. Be sure to check that out after you've created a resume for the Career Center. Now that we've finished talking about all the panels on the Campus Resources tab, you can take this time to pause the video and go over all the panels again, or navigate to the top of the page and move to the Students tab for when we continue the video. This is a reminder that in the description you'll find timestamp links talking about all the panels we've discussed so far if you need to review any of them.